More than a month into the war between Israel and Hamas and Palestinians continue to be in the crossfire. This morning, at least 32 people are dead after Israeli airstrikes hit a residential area in South Gaza. This all comes as communications return to the region, giving hope for critical aid to resume. As the IDF battles Hamas, leaders are calling on civilians to relocate. Take a look. These are satellite images released and show a massive crowd heading towards southern Gaza yesterday. Officials there say neighborhoods had until 4 p.m. to leave their homes and evacuate south. Well, as the war continues, protesters are making their voices heard right here at home. Three demonstrations have been held so far this week calling for a ceasefire. The latest happened last night at Union Station. D.C. police say at least three people were arrested in connection to the rally. Hundreds gathered in Northeast in support of Palestine. The demonstration there lasted more than three hours, ending by 8 p.m. Protesters gave speeches, chanted, and painted walls with red, black, and green handprints on the walls there, demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. Yesterday's demonstration disrupted transportation. I just lost five, five members of my family last week. I hope their blood is, 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 is not gone for nothing. Well, as you mentioned, yesterday's demonstration did disrupt transportation. Amtrak told riders to allow for extra time because of the rally, and Metro trains temporarily skipped the station. The Council on American-Islamic Relations is condemning D.C. Metro Police's lack of response after a man threatened a Muslim woman with a beheading. The woman was on the orange line with some acquaintances on their way to last night's Palestinian human rights protest when the man began yelling profanities and threats at her. Witnesses say the man was also armed, but police have not confirmed that. Again, the same questions. Are you sure there was a gun? What color was it? Are you sure you actually saw a gun? Um, just really belittling the entire situation and, and the threats that were made and going as far to say that my life was not threatened because he did not explicitly say the words, I am going to kill you. CARE sent a letter to the police department calling on them to identify and arrest the man. Well, this morning, police are investigating a threat to an Arlington synagogue. Arlington now reports officers responded at 5.30 Friday evening to the congregation at Taim for a bomb threat. According to initial reports, someone sent a threatening text to a crisis hotline.